Hello everyone, this is uh, Anthony Smith and I'm continuing my interviews uh, with uh, former SWIC operators, retired SWIC operators. Uh, this is titled uh, interview number 16. Uh, we're dealing with uh, operator syndrome. Uh, today we're talking with uh, SBC retired Isaac Smith and we are talking about SWIC traumatic brain injury and major orthopedic injuries and here's Isaac. Hi, yeah, my name is Isaac Smith. I did 20 years as a special boat operator. I served as special boat team 12, Debt Kodiak, special boat team 20, and center for sale in SWIC. And what boats were you on? Thanks for reminding me. Forgot. <laughs> I was on the Mark V, the RIB, the CCH, and the CCM. And then how many uh, deployments did you do as a SWIG? I did four combat deployments and then was medically unable to deploy after that. All right. So interview number 16 is a testimonial of Isaac's medical records and conditions. He answered questions from the following questionnaire formats and gave permission to produce this uh, presentation and share it openly. We covered the operator syndrome scale, the GAD7 scale, PLC5 scale, PHQ9, uh, NSI, and uh, neurobehavioral symptoms inventory, and then a uh, brief uh, SWIC background questionnaire. So Isaac spent 20 years in the military and the Navy. Uh, he was a SWIC operator for that entire 20 years. He was in class, uh, SWIC class 41. He graduated uh, in, or sorry, 2002. He did uh, four SWIC combat deployments, several other things. Uh, served at SBT-12, uh, Dat Kodiak, SBT-20. And then uh, he spent his last few years at Center for SEAL, or Center for SEAL SWIC. Um, after his last deployment, he was deemed medically unable to ret uh, deploy anymore. A very uh, same thing that I went through and uh, ended up going to uh, the Silswick Scout team myself. Uh, he worked on the 11 meter ribs, Mark Fives, CCHs, and uh, CCM. He's got over 12,000 hours, or probably more than that, on Swick Fives boats and an estimated 1.4 million wave pounding and whiplash related impacts, which cause uh, MTBI micro concussions. So Navy SWIG is a special class of elite naval warriors who have been a decisive force behind some of America's most important secret missions. Special boat operations have unique and often deadly challenges due to the combination of operating powerful, sophisticated machines designed for speed and stealth in some of the planet's most inhospitable environments. The average SWIG career operator uh, experiences MTBI and, and major orthopedic injuries over the course of their career in peacetime and in war and uh, naval special warfare conducts missions in over 70 countries 365 days a year the sum of swick injury does not accumulate until the operator retires before we talk more about the interview we need to briefly uh, discuss operator syndrome operator syndrome is not a diagnosis it is a qualitative descriptive framework of a nexus of uh, symptoms and illnesses and it was coined by Dr. Christopher Free. There's a DOI link to it there and uh, we're going to be talking about operator syndrome and as it pertains to SWIG operators. So operator syndrome is a nexus of psychiatric illnesses and disorders along with chronic major orthopedic injuries as defined in the literature. Operator syndrome affects all soft forces, that's all special operations forces from every major branch uh, due to the nature of our job and our training and our, our deployment cycles and our high op tempo. Uh, there's a list of different uh, soft units right there throughout the uh, branches and SWIC is included in this group of uh, soft operators. So all the different symptoms within operator syndrome are listed here and everything in red are the issues that Isaac is currently dealing with. 
uh, traumatic brain injury, endocrine dis uh, dysfunction, sleep disturbance, obstructive sleep apnea, chronic joint, back pain, orthopedic problems and headaches, uh, substance abuse, depression, post-traumatic stress disorder, anger, worry, rumination, and stress reactivity, marital, family, and community dysfunction, problems with sexual health and intimacy, being on guard or hypervigilant, memory concentration and cognitive impairments, vestibular and vision impairments, challenges to the transition from military to civilian life, uh, a mindset that discounts the future and uh, fear of developing uh, invisible wounds. So here are some of Isaac's uh, comorbidities uh, due to swift blood operations. He has a diagnosis for traumatic brain injury. He went to NICO and home base, and he has a VA rating for that. Uh, same thing with PTSD, NICO, home base, VA rating. Depression, same thing. Anxiety, same thing. Uh, endocrine dysfunction, same thing. He has a diagnosis for sleep apnea and insomnia, also VA rating. Um, headaches and migraines, VA ratings, ADHD. Uh, due to traumatic brain injury with a VA rating. Uh, he has some uh, hypervigilance, uh, severe severe memory loss, uh, same thing. Uh, he has increased appetite, concentration, decision-making issues, and dizziness and nauseous. And some other uh, issues. He has uh, mental fatigue, uh, his C6 uh, cervical stenosis, compression, he has a T-spine compressed uh, disc, L-spine broken bones, uh, also compression. Uh, moderately sensitivity to noise and light, hearing problems, tinnitus, uh, numbness in extremities, allostatic, uh, allostatic overload, uh, mild ED, uh, chronic joint pain, uh, joint surgeries, uh, which include right shoulder, both knees, left wrist, and a few more that are pending. He's experienced blood in his urine for a year and a half. Uh, straight and uh, has to have uh, kidneys his kidneys looked at a couple times a year and he was medically disqualified for, uh, qualified for SWIC duty and had to finish his career at uh, Center for Civil and SWIC. Uh, these are symptoms experienced uh, while operating on uh, high-speed SWIC boats and these are all uh, symptoms that are common among all SWIC operators we all end up with these things. Uh, fatigue due to weight pounding on SWIC boats Dizziness due to weight pounding on swift boats. He experienced blackouts and blood in his urine due to weight pounding on swift boats. He experienced whiplash due to weight pounding on swift boats. He experienced confusion, lack of focus, and concentration due to weight pounding on swift boats. He experienced whole body weight pounding and whiplash at speeds of 65 miles an hour. He experienced weight pounding in seas above 10 foot, and he experienced orthopedic injuries uh, due to weight pounding on swift boats, uh, which included his knees, shoulders, wrists. Uh, compressed disc and spine, and he has actually an inch shorter due to all of the compression in the spine. All right, so looking at traumatic brain injury for SBC SWIC retired uh, Isaac Smith. Um, <clears throat> the average SWIC operator logs 3,000 hours of boat time per deployment cycle. Roche did a 94 study uh, research and uh, conducted underway studies on his NSW fast boats for six days over a 36 hour period, uh, which totaled 8,610 wave impacts, ranging anywhere from 2 to 25 Gs. Of these uh, 8,610 wave impacts, 4,496 impacts ranged above 5 Gs. Uh, these 4,496 uh, 5 G or greater impacts in 36 hours equal to 124. Uh, significant wave uh, whip, uh, whiplash events in an hour. The average swick operator endures about 124 whiplash events in an hour that are uh, high g-force uh, that could cause uh, uh, MTBI whiplash and, and things of that nature. Uh, the average swick operator possibly endures about 374,000 significant g-force impacts from wave pounding on swick boats in one deployment cycle. <clears throat> so Isaac probably endured 1.4 million significant full body impacts if you look at the numbers while uh, wave uh, slamming on swift fast boats and that causing disastrous long term effects of uh, chronic orthopedic injury, whiplash, uh, MTBI, and other issues.
All right, so to summarize uh, operator syndrome and all the symptoms pertaining to uh, SBC, SWIC, Isaac Smith. Uh, etiologically speaking, Isaac is a 40-year-old retired SWIC operator. Uh, right now, this is uh, February 2023. Uh, Isaac had 20 years of SWIC boat service, over four deployments as a SWIC operator, uh, combat deployments and over 12,000 hours of swig boat time causing over 1.4 million significant full body impacts while weight pounding on swig boats isaac has over 25 of the symptoms of mtbi and a nexus of operator syndrome symptoms he endured whiplash weight pounding at significant g-forces urinated blood and experienced blackouts from full body weight pounding exposure Isaac went to NICO and also home base and was diagnosed with TBI, PTSD, and numerous other uh, post-concussion symptoms which impede his quality of life. Uh, Long-term effects of MTBI, major orthopedic injuries, are debilitating for SWIC operators like Isaac. He has a 100% disability rating from the VA, and Isaac does not have a history of contact sports. All right, so conclusions from this ongoing project. Uh, to date, I've done uh, 16 interviews uh, or record reviews and still going. Uh, as of now, 100% of SWIG operators interviewed thus far have significant TBI exposure contributing to post-concussion symptoms. 100% of uh, SWIG operators interviewed experience full body weight pounding, whiplash, and orthopedic injury from SWIG boat operations, which has proven to cause mental, emotional, and physical injury. 100% of SWIC operators interviewed so far who were never diagnosed with TBI before TBI protocols were implemented uh, lacked the VA ratings for service-connected injuries uh, due to SWIC fast boat service. Uh, the VA contends that these issues are not service-connected for the majority of us because they were not claimed while on active duty. Uh, information in this presentation provides evidence Isaac was a SWIC operator on SWIC fast boats for multiple deployments and the aggregate of data collected in these interviews connect long-term TBI and post-concussion syndrome and orthopedic injury to SWIC boat service. Uh, most importantly, thousands of former and retired SWIC operators suffer from long-term TBI and major orthopedic injury without acknowledgement or help from the VA or DOD. Uh, there remains a gap in TBI research on this peer group. Uh, references for SWIC TBI are listed in my presentation titled SWIC TBI. I posted on my YouTube page. Thank you.